Uh, hello, this is Lance here. In the last video, I discussed with you moving from a sitting position with Lance. Well, in that I discussed how you to strengthen your legs, use your body, unify yourself, and doing little movements which strengthen all those muscles there. But you also have to use the upper body. So when you're standing up, so sometimes you'll use the way I've told you, where you bend forward and allow your body to unify itself and come up. Then other times you'll use your arms to take the pressure on your body when you're sitting down. So if I was stay, going to stand up here, I would, as I showed you in the last video, I'd allow my body to fairly easily move forward and come up with absolutely no strain whatsoever. Do you? Right. And then I go down, I allow my body to fall to a gentle situation which allows me to serve. No strain whatsoever. Now this doesn't apply to old people as I mentioned to you. Don't get into your mind as old people video. This is the young as well. Because the young are the world's bloody worst at using their, their bodies. So, as that was so easy to do, and going back down again is so easy to do, sometimes you must also then coordinate in those two or three hours of watching television and moving backwards and forward, you will sometimes use your arms. So then you will use your arms. Now remember, when you're using your arms, don't allow your shoulders to go up to your ears, which slides your scapulas up and weakens. Keep the shoulders down, pressure on the arms, and slowly take the weight on, on, the, on the arms from here. You can feel the strain, which take, but I'm holding my shoulders down. And from there, I allow myself to straighten up. When I come back, I do the same thing. I go backwards, I firm my scapula, now, in order to firm your scapula, keep in mind, your serratus anterior muscles don't want to stabilize your scapula. And that will come in a later lesson of how to strain that. So I reach back with my arms, take my weight on my arms, hold my shoulders down, and I slowly lower myself. Now, by doing that, I've used all these muscles here. I've used the muscles in my shoulders, and I've used my lats. Just a small thing like that makes a vast amount of difference. So I'd like to see you to use those, which is so important as you gradually start building your strength up. Slowly, coming out of your chair, no strain at all. Now look, I'm not using my leg. I can use my legs and do it, but I'm not. I'm using my arms. Up, stand, walk, do the things you want to do. Come back, reach back, scapula down, and down. As simple as that, no strain, whatsoever. So now you're starting to use your upper body, which is so important. Now in order to move the scapulas, I want you to combine this with it. You have to get your scapulas sliding out, retracting and protracting. So I want you to take your arms, it's all done in this last three hours or all during the day, reach forward, push your back back and allow your scapulas to slide out and up. Then retract them, from here and you feel them come together. They join. Once again, pull them out and bring them in. So having taken the weight of that of using your body, the other thing you can do is often you can put your hands down in each side of your chair and take your weight on your hands. Nice and easy. You'll feel the weight come on your hands from here. So allow your body to just rock forward onto your hands, rock back. These things will strengthen those muscles and give you the ability to gradually get into the actions I'm gonna show you later on. And I think from that moment onwards, you're starting to begin to understand how the body and the mind combine. The upper body and the lower body all work together. I hope that's been of some use to you. <laughs> Thank you so much.